This video was made with Paper Mario. Disclaimer, we do not own any of the characters or items used in this production. All are property of Nintendo. Hello, Mario. Hello, Peach. It's such a nice day. Let's go for a walk. All right, you two say so. Ha 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 ha, there's a little Mario and his princess. I'll get Peach now and Mario will never see her again. Ah! Mario, save me! Peach? Peach? Where are you? Mario stood there, wondering what to do. A voice came to him and said, Mario, you must embark on a magical math adventure in order to save Peach. So Mario set off. Wait, Mario! Take me with you, I could help you with the math problem. I don't know how to do this, Luigi! Here, you use the quadratic formula. What? Here, remember it like this. <laughs> X equals negative B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC all over 2A. Here, I'll do the first one for you. The example is, use the quadratic equation to solve 3M squared minus 2 1 equals 1. Um, the first step is to make it into AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0 form. Move that one to the other side. The three is the A, the negative two is the B, and negative one is C. The second step is to plug it into the quadratic equation. So plus or minus, you can put it into two equations, so, or, so let's solve the first equation first. That equals 6 over 6, which also is 1. And um, this one is negative 2 over 6, which equals negative 1 third. So for this one, there are two solutions, 1 and negative 1 third. Okay, let's go! No, man, you are too scared to go on. You have to rescue Peach by yourself. Good luck! This is the quadratic formula. Um, this part here is called the discriminant because um, you use it to find out how many real roots of the equation there are. So um, find the discriminant of this equation. Use this part. And then simplify. You first plug it in. The answer is the square root of 24. The square root of 24 is positive, which means you get two roots. When the discriminant is positive, 
that means um, you have two roots. When the um, discriminant is zero, that means you get one root. If the, uh, if the discriminant is negative, that means you get no root. Oh, look, another problem. I wonder how it'd be like. Let's go. Okay, so first you have to um, solve this equation. Use the quadratic formula. Plug it in. So um, there is no coefficient here, and this is a, negative 4 is b, and negative 5 is c. So you do negative b. Negative, um, negative 4 um, should be 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 5 over 2a, but there is, uh, a is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. So, x equals 4 plus or minus um, the square root of 16 plus 20 over 2. x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 36 over 2. The square root of 36 is 6. So x equals 4 plus or minus 6 over 2. Now you move this into two equations. x equals 4 plus 6 over 2 and x equals 4 minus 6 over 2. In the first equation, x equals 10 over 2, so x equals 5. In the second equation, x equals negative 2 over 2. So x equals negative 1. There are two solutions to this problem. And that is your final answer. Fine, Mario, you win. You solved all the problems. Here's Peach. Mario! Peach! No! And Mario and Peach lived happily ever after. The end.